Hey, praise the Lord. God bless you. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We are grateful and thankful to be here on this Sunday morning. Thank you for joining us for worship. Uh, it is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. I want to ask you a question this morning as we get into the word of God. I pray that it will inspire you, that it will ignite you, and that it will impact you. So if you will, go ahead and share, call someone, tell someone that uh, Apostle A. McCoy is on and Ignite One Worship Center is on. And there's a word from the Lord uh, this morning. Here's my question to you today. If you had to have your faith evaluated at this moment on a grading level from A to F, where would it be? Hallelujah. Where would it be? 2 Corinthians 13, 5 tells us, and this is the Amplified Version, evaluate yourself to see whether you are in the faith. Wow. So this morning, family, I want to take you on a journey and I want to show you eight factors of an A plus faith. Glory to God. Father, thank you. I honor you this morning. I give you praise. I magnify you for who you are. Hey, you're Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. You're Jehovah Nisi. You're our banner. You are Jehovah Shalom. You're our peace. You are the great I am. You are the everlasting God. You declare the end from the beginning. Hallelujah. We thank you that your words have weight. Your glory carries weight. You have omnipotent, omnipresent power. And God, we give you all the glory that's due your name. Hey, sure, Allah. Hallelujah. I pray you will bless us today as we journey through your word. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah. Again, this is it. Eight factors of an A plus faith. If your faith had to be graded this morning, I want to show you in the word of God how you can get an A plus rating from the Holy Ghost of in the spirit of God. Amen. This morning. So listen, uh, pay attention. Tell somebody glory to God. If you're ready to raise your spiritual credit score, you need to be on this holiday live listening to this word this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. Let me read uh, in the New King James Version of Scripture, Genesis chapter 22. I'm going to read uh, a lengthy version of Scripture so that I can get this to you. Uh, this morning, beginning at verse number one. Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, he said, here I am. Then he said, take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I will tell you. You go, I'll tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son. And he split wood for a burnt offering and arose and went to the place which God had told him. For then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey the lad and I will go yonder and worship and we will come back to you. Verse 11, but the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. He said, here I am. And he said, do not lay your hands on the, on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God since you've not withheld your son, your only son from me. 13, then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. So the burnt, uh, Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. 
And Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will provide, as it is this day. In the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I've sworn, saith the Lord, because you've done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing I will bless you. Multiplying, I multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand on which on the seashore and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies and in your seed all nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. I want you to notice, I want you to notice that in the text beginning at verse 1 of chapter 22, um, uh, it begins with this little phrase, after these things, God tested Abraham. After these things, God tested Abraham. And when you really go back and begin to uh, chase and quantify what these things were, because Here's the reality that this portion of Abraham's experience with God could not be a factor in his life until after these things have taken place. Glory to God. So, so I really don't have time to go all the way back. Amen. But, but these things begin uh, right at the end of chapter 11 and start at verse 12. And they go all the way through 10 chapters, amen, up to 22. And with that, between 11 and 22, Abraham uh, uh, has been through seven significant tests, glory to God, where God is developing and God is maturing and God is confirming Abraham's faith in him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, God is, God is raising the level, amen, of his faith. And God is raising the spiritual, hallelujah, prowess and maturity of his trust in God. So, so now watch it. In 22, uh, Genesis 22, it starts with when Abraham is 75 years old. Glory to God. And I want you to understand something. That between those tests of Genesis uh, 11 and 22, Abraham did not pass every one of those tests. But he did get the lesson he needed to keep trusting God on the journey to his destiny. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you this morning about eight factors of an A plus faith. Eight factors of an A plus faith. When I say A plus Faith. What is the meaning of that? Amen. I'll give you the natural connotation and you can uh, you can uh, connect the spiritual actualization to it. Here it is. Uh, a plus. It means that that is superior. Yeah. Amen. Or of the highest level to be obtained. Glory to God. Uh, a plus. That that is superior or of that that is of the highest level to be obtained. It, it means the best, watch this, A plus mean the best in standard, A plus mean the best in service, A plus mean the best in customer satisfaction, glory to God, hallelujah, so connect that to the spirit, the best in standard, the best in service, and the best in satisfaction, glory to God, amen, we know that faith is what pleases God, yeah, amen, uh, A plus mean to be counted at a high value or a high worth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. So watch this, please. When, when you're dealing with the corporate world, you could, you could have a triple A rating. You can have a triple A rating, and then you, and for whatever reason, you can lose, amen, watch this, the value of your rating, which you can drop down from triple A to double A, lose the value of your rating and still watch this have a, a triple A amen glory to God uh, a triple A grade why because 
it comes down to what your what your company or the, the valuation of your organization is worth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. So it really comes down to what your faith is worth. Amen. And that's why, glory to God, the scripture says, examine yourselves in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, and see where you are in the faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. So A plus means to be counted at the highest value of worth. And then A plus means to be recognized for maximum or exceptional or excellent level in operation. Glory to God. This is this is A plus. So so when we talk about uh the factors of an A plus faith, a A plus faith, watch this, has a pattern and a process that's relatable to your history, but is revelational to your destiny. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's relatable to your history, but it has to be revelational to your destiny. In other words, all of who you are and all of what you know and all of, of what you experience, glory to God, and where you've been, hallelujah, is good, but you must be processed by God for where you're going. <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. So this morning, we're going to leave this presence. Hallelujah. Glory to God with an increase in our faith score. Come on, somebody. Somebody type that in. Increase my faith score, God. Glory to God. Yeah. An increase in my faith score. So watch it now. In At this juncture in life, God has come to Abraham. Amen. Uh, and he's given him specific instructions and specific directions according to uh, the promise of his destiny. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. And and watch it please because Abraham uh, is following God and waiting on God at the same time. Okay, okay. Here it is. Don't miss this. When God get ready to raise the worth of your faith, you'll find yourself in a position where following God is waiting on God. Mm. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Following God is waiting on God. Abraham is walking by faith and waiting on God at the same time. Did you hear what I said? He's walking by faith and waiting on God at the same time. Glory to God. After these things, God tested Abraham. The word is Nasa. Glory to God. He tested Abraham. It's a testing. It's a trying. It's a proving. It carries the idea of the testing of the quality of a thing. Mm, watch this. Testing the quality of a thing woo, through the demonstration of stress. Uh -oh. Testing the quality of a thing through the demonstration of stress. Mm, hallelujah. Glory to God. Here it is. Somebody get, grab this word. It is possible that the stress that you're being introduced to in this season of your life is God testing the quality of your faith because he's trying to demonstrate more maturity. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he's trying to demonstrate, glory to God, a development in you because he's ready for you, for you to go to your next level. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Glory to God. So here it is. Here it is. Glory to God. Let's get into the text. Amen. And let's watch Abraham's journey to see. Amen. Grab these eight factors of an A plus faith and see, glory to God, how it can relate to our own lives, glory to God, and we can leave here in the spirit with a high score. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. And you know now, glory, the higher your rating is or the higher your score is, watch this, it's easier to walk into open doors and say, I want that. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to God. So here it is. Watch this. Watch this. God says to Abraham, 
he calls him, glory to God, and he says, he calls Abraham by name, glory to God, he calls Abraham by name, and the first thing Abraham does is he give us this first level, he give us the first level, amen, of the, the A plus rating, glory to God, of the faith, that the, of the first factor of the A plus faith. Here it is, watch this, God calls him by name, glory to God, after he tested him through those things, and then he says, Abraham, and Abraham goes, here I am, mm, glory to God, here I am, here I am. So the first factor of uh, A plus faith is accountability, mm, glory to God, accountability, accountability, glory to God, accountability, here I am. So please get this, here I am, I am available, mm, here I am, I am usable, here I am, I am reliable, here I am. I am pliable. Here I am. I am whoa, Shaka. Glory to God. Here I am. I am willing to be profitable. Mm, glory to God. Because you called me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. You got to get this. God does not give assignments to unaccountable people. Mm, glory to God. Accountability. Accountability, that's where it begins. Accountability, that's where it begins when God is getting ready to raise your, mm, hallelujah, hey, your faith score, hallelujah. You're trying to get an A+. Plus. You're trying to get to the highest You're, that can be attained. You're trying to get to the maximum, hallelujah. You're trying to get to the operational Glory to God, level of faith in standard, in service, in satisfying God as a son of God. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. My God, you need to text somebody on your phone and tell them, get on this live. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, it begins with accountability. Accountability. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay, now watch this. Accountability for everybody does not begin at the same level. Mm -mm. Why? Watch it, please. It begins with the same. It begins with the same uh, in the same context, but it's not at the same level. Because when 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 we say accountability, you cannot account for ability and ability that you don't have. So everybody don't have the same ability. Glory to God. Okay, let me say it like this. Hallelujah for uh, you Bible people. To much is given, much is required. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So it's accountability. I'm available. I'm usable. I'm reliable. I'm pliable. I want to be profitable, God. Mm. Hallelujah. So here it is now. Glory to God. Because God is confirming Abraham's faith. Mm. And when God is confirming your faith, ah, he, glory to God, what he, will, what he will do, he will give you details but no direction. Mm. <laughs> He'll give you details but no direction. All you know is you won't stop hearing God say go. Mm. <laughs> you, you, uh, glory to God. You won't stop hearing the Holy Spirit stir you up to say do it. He'll give you details but no direction. So watch it, please. Glory to God. Because here's why you got to be accountable. Because details come when he can trust your heart. Mm. And he can affirm his faith in you, not just your faith in him. What did you just say? I said that he'll give you detail. He'll give you direction, but he'll give you, glory to God, he'll give you direction, but no details. When he gives you direction, Glory, but no details. God is trying to see where your accountability is so that he knows that he can trust your heart. Watch this, please. And then when he can trust your heart, he can affirm his faith in you, not just your faith in him. Did you get that? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wow. So when God is confirming your faith in him and he's affirming his faith in you, Glory to God. Mm. Your accountability will release your assignment. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Your assignment, your accountability 
We release your assignment. Yeah, amen, hallelujah. And that is, watch this, that's factor number two of an A-plus faith. Not, factor number one is accountability. Factor number two is assignment. Glory to God. Assignment. Watch, watch verse two. Watch verse two. He calls Abraham. Abraham says, here I am in verse one. I'm accountable. I'm usable. I'm, I'm a reliable, reliable. I'm pliable. I want to be profitable. Watch this. So God says, watch this now. Hallelujah. According to your accountability, I'm going to release this assignment on you. Take now. Mm. Take now your son. Your only son, and then God has the unmitigated gall to throw in the words that you love. In other words, hold up now. What I, what I, what I peeped up in that was, uh, God say, hold up now. I'm still jealous. I gave it to you, but you ain't going to love it more than me. <laughs> Glory to God. Take him, take him, take him to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I shall tell you. I need you to get this. Now, God can't trust you, amen, to go somewhere and don't know if he can't trust you to be accountable for what you do know. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, amen. His assignment, go to Mariah. Ah, guess what Mar Mariah means? <laughs> Mariah, it means what? It means provided by Jehovah. So note, Abraham has already experienced God in a way where he had to trust God, amen, without really knowing all the way back in the beginning of the, the test that he had to go through in Genesis 12. Glory to God. We won't go there, but it's there. Glory to God. So, so, so notice, watch this. God says, tell him, take your son now. Hallelujah. Somebody type now in the chat. Now. Now, watch this. Now is uh, now is a faith moment. You're accountable. I'm going to give you an assignment and you got to recognize the faith moment. You got to recognize the faith moment. Here it is. A faith moment. A moment Watch this, a supernatural moment of obedience connected to open doors, blessing, and inheritance. Mm. Ew. My God, a supernatural moment of obedience connected to open doors, blessing, and inheritance. Abraham, take your son now. It's a faith moment. Every faith moment mm, must be acknowledged and acted upon in the significance of that moment. Every faith moment must be acknowledged and acted upon in the significance of that moment. It sounds something like this. The day you hear my voice, Hard not your heart as you did to provoke me in the wilderness. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. So watch it now. Watch it now. Hallelujah. I want to make sure I stay with my time. We have accountability as the first factor of this uh, A plus faith. And then we have, amen, we have an assignment. Listen, please. Uh, when Abraham received this assignment, from God because he was accountable the next thing that needs to happen is he needs to begin to uh, activate the motion of the covenant of God that God spoke over his life here it is here it is so verse 3 so Abraham rose early in the morning Saddled his donkey, took two young men with him and his son. He split the wood and they had a burnt offering and went to the place God told him. Where did he go? He went to the place. Watch this. Mariah, he went to the place.
called provided by Jehovah. Mm. Get to the place called provided by a joke, by provided by Jehovah, and I'll show you. So now we move to factor three is action. You have a accountability, you have assignment, then you have action. His actions set the covenant in motion. You got it? His actions set the covenant in motion. It, hey, okay, uh, let me say it like this. Um, it's great that you know what God said. It's great that you even heard what God said. But it's even better when you do it. Yeah. Mm. Wow. His actions. His actions. He rose up early that morning, sat on his donkey, took off to go to where God said. See, see, a, pro a part of the problem, amen, uh, in the body is that we got more folk that know what God said and more folk that heard God, but they're not doing it. Mm. Shall not now. Glory to God. Somebody chew on that for just a minute and shout, I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. Yeah, I got to do it. Yeah, amen. His action. His action. Watch this. Watch this. Watch what happens when Abraham, when, when God sees his accountable, God gives him a, an assignment, and then Abraham puts the covenant in motion through his action. Here it is. Here it is. First number four. Then on the third day. Okay. Let me let me write, let me digress because here's another reason why you got to be accountable. You got to be usable, reliable, pliable. Amen. Watch it because now God said do something and go to the place and it's three days and you ain't seen it yet. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and he saw the place afar off. Wow. He saw the place afar off. What place? He saw, he saw the place. He saw, he saw the place where God was going to provide according to his accountability, his assignment. Mm. And his action. Glory to God. He saw it afar off. He saw it afar off. So please get this. Oh, uh, my shine. Oh, glory to God. Somebody, this is your word, and you ought to jump up and give God a praise when you get it. See, watch it. Here it is. 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 Right here. Glory to God. Uh, uh, again, he, he, he saw the place afar off. He saw the place afar off. Glory to God. But he's walking in the rhythm and in the flow of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, uh, see, a, a part of uh, our challenge as believers is that we have not learned how to master process. Mm, we don't like going through. Hallelujah. We can't wait that long. We can't be patient enough. For God to work in us while He working it out of us, Hallelujah! Watch this. So, so, but here's Abraham's uh, uh, a nugget for us, please. It took three days for him to get to the place he saw it far off, and because of his accountability, because of his assignment and his actions, here's what you need to get from Abraham: when you know the promise. You don't even struggle with the process. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. He was sure about what God said. He was sure about the promise, and he didn't struggle with the process. Glory to God. Amen. It don't matter if it took 30 days. He was sure about the process. Are you getting this? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So watch now. Watch this third day. Abraham get there. His eyes, he sees the place afar so off. He sees the place that God said he was going to provide according to his accountability, his assignment, and his actions. Glory to God. And then watch this. Once he sees the place, now the covenant is kicking in motion. And hallelujah. 
things are about to happen and God is about to accelerate some stuff because he didn't struggle with the process. He kept his focus on the promise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Watch this. And verse 5 through 8. And Abraham said to his young men, stay here. We're going up there to worship and we're coming back to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And along the way, his son, just like any child, gets a little curious. Amen. And start to ask questions. And he like, Daddy, uh, 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 Daddy, I see the wood. I know we, I see, I see the wood. I see the fire, but I don't see no lamb. I don't see, I don't see, no, I, don't, I don't see no lamb. Watch this, guy. Watch, watch, watch this. Watch, watch Abraham's assurance. Glory to God. In verse number eight. Watch his assurance. Glory to God. When his son begins to question mm, the promise. Oh, oh, glory to God. God says, watch this. God says to go to Moriah, sacrifice your son as a burnt offering, and the son don't even know he's the offering. Watch this. And when you get there, watch this. I'll show you what's next. Mm. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When God is trying to raise your faith level to an A-plus level, hallelujah, watch this. What you do now will determine what he show you next. Mm. Glory to God. He said, get there and I'll show you what's next. Abraham's response to his son Isaac is, watch this, is the Lord will provide. I don't see, I see this, I see that, but I don't see the lamp. Abraham, uh, the Lord will provide. The Lord will provide. Interesting word, provide. Pro means to see. Well, I mean ahead. Pro means ahead. And then verdir, it means to, watch this, to see. To see. To see. Ahead to see. Watch it, please. Glory to God. Watch it. Watch it, please. Abraham's son say, I see. I see the wood. I see the fire, but I don't see the, the lamb. And Abraham speaks a prophetic word already. He said that y'all stay here. We going up there. We coming back, even though God told him to kill him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we coming back. Amen. And then Abraham speaks this prophetic word of faith. He says, my son, watch this. Really, what you can't see, God will see ahead for himself. God will sit ahead for himself. Glory to God. Because uh, Isaac said, I don't see it. Abraham said, God will sit ahead for himself. Mm. And the scripture said, and the two of them went on. They went on, glory to God, in the word that God released, that he will see ahead for himself. You got to see how this thing is lining up now, because God told him to go to this place called Jehovah will provide. And the son said, I don't see it. And then he said, God going to see for himself how he going to provide our duty. And our job is just to keep going because we already activated this covenant with our actions and our assignment and our accountability. Glory to God. So you got to know that the devil comes trying to get you off track. He comes trying to get you turned back. He comes trying to get you moving into the old. He comes trying to get you, amen, operating, glory to God, in the flesh. He comes trying to get you operating out of the fresh. Glory to God. Why? Because he understands the audience that you are about to operate at the highest level that can be obtained and the highest value and the highest worth. Glory to God. And there's an A plus faith coming. Glory to God over your life. Hallelujah. And God is going to do great things. Mm. Hallelujah. Woo. Here it is. Here it is. He says, we're going up. We're coming back. And his faith reached from the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament in the Hall of Faith. Glory to God. In Hebrews 11, where it talks about how Abraham, amen, when he was offered, glory to God, to go take Isaac up and deliver him. And how, amen, he did that by faith. Glory to God. I think the message the Bible said, by faith, glory to God, in his time of testing, amen, he offered Isaac back to God. Glory to God. Amplified Bible says, amen, while the test of his faith was still in progress, he offered Isaac back to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Wow. 
Amen. So listen, please, don't, don't ignore, amen, the fact that for some of us, our test, the testing of our faith is still in progress. Yeah, that's why a little struggle has hit your life. That's why a little strain has hit your life. Glory to God. But you've got to know that your, watch this, your accountability, your actions, and your assignment, hallelujah, has, has put the covenant of God in motion. And you're going to feel, glory to God, that resistance. Woo, hallelujah. That just means you're close. <laughs> glory to God. Yeah, that just means you're closer than you think. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. So, so we get it. 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 Factor number one. Hallelujah. Accountability. Factor number two. Assignment. Factor number three is action. Factor number four is, watch this, affirmation. On the third day, he lifted up his eyes and he saw it. Affirmation. Affirmation. Then factor number five is assurance. Oh, I pray y'all get it. Assurance. And Abraham said, watch this to the young men. Stay. We're going and we're going to be back. Assurance. 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 God going to see ahead for himself. We just need to stay on track. Trust the promise and don't struggle with the process. Assurance. Whoop. Glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. Wow. Glory to God. Assurance, 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 assurance. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Number six, alignment. Number six is alignment. Glory to God. Number six is alignment. So watch it. Let me give you a lesson. Let me give you a lesson, please. Because, because um, a part of uh, the challenge um, sometimes in the process of leadership and in the process of, of ministry is sometimes we can think accountability automatically means assignment, but we're not even in alignment. Look, look what happens before alignment comes. Accountability Assurance, action, assignment, and then alignment. Look what happens. You can be given assignment, but the proof is in the alignment. Mm. Go figure. Here it is, verse 9 through 12. Watch it. See, he came to the place. Then they came to the place. Watch it. What God told them. Abraham built an altar there, placed the wood in order, and he bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. 10, and Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from where? Heaven. Wow. I need you to get this. I need you to get this. I need you to get this. His assignment is in the earth, but his alignment has reached heaven. Mm. <gasps> he says, here I am. I'm usable. I'm reliable. I'm profitable. And he said, the angel said, don't lay your hands on your son or do anything to him. Here it is. Now, I know that you fear God since you have not withheld your only son from me. Wow. Okay. Okay. Get this, please. Get this. So the real, the real truth is that it was never about what was going to happen to Isaac. It was always about what was happening with Abraham. 
<laughs> Glory to God. Wow. 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 I want you to get it because we get to that alignment. The alignment. Alignment. Remember? 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 He started out saying, now take your son. Now take your son. It's a faith moment. Remember, it's a faith moment. Mm. So watch what happens. Woo. Wow. Wow. Watch what happens in the in the in the alignment. Just go ahead. I'm not going I'm not going to go there but go ahead and write verse 13 and 14. That's agreement. I want to stick with 12. I want to stick with 12. He said Lay your hands, don't lay your hands on him, for now I know. Wow. So God told Abraham, now take your son. It was a faith moment in verse number two. And I said that every faith moment must be acknowledged and acted upon in the significance of that moment. Mm. So watch now. If Abraham would have been doubtful and delayed his obedience, the two nows would have lined up. <laughs> watch, 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 watch verse 12. Watch it. The now moment of verse 2, when God was confirming Abraham's faith in him, has reached the now moment of verse 12 where God called to Abraham from heaven and said, don't do it. And the next thing is, now I know you fear me. Now I know you trust me. Now I know you love me. Now I know I can affirm the blessing on your life. Now, because the two moments of now met together, glory to God, and God sealed that thing because of his alignment, and then God came into agreement in verse 13 and 14. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is in agreement now that he can, watch this, that now he can see and prove his faith in Abraham, not Abraham's faith in him. Good God Almighty. Now I know. Now faith is. Yeah. Now I know. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now I know. You fear me. Because you heard me say go. And you went to the place. And waited for me to show you. Who I was going to send to help you. Waited for me to. Show you who's going to be connected to the blessing. Hallelujah. Ah. Mm. I can affirm that faith. Wow. Six alignment, seven agreement. Eight is acknowledgement. Verse 15. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time. Out of heaven. By myself I've sworn, saith the Lord, because you have done this thing, wow, and have not withheld your son, your only son. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, for Abraham, it was his son, but what is it for you? Is there anything that you're withholding? That's interfering with the two now meeting together. Since, you have, since you've done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing will I bless you. Multiplying what I multiply, and your descendants 
as the stars of the heaven. Wow. Abraham had a generational assignment, a generational anointing. Glory to God. And it was it was his his obedience in his faith moment reached down through his generation. In your seed, all nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Ah! Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? This is how you raise your faith level and you get an A plus faith score in the spirit of God. You learn that you walk with God even though you're yet waiting on God. You don't struggle with the process because you understand the promise. You enter in with accountability and God begins to check your heart. To see if he can use you all the way through from beginning to end. And then your actions puts the covenant of the words that God spoke over your life into motion. Are you hearing me? And when the words of God are in motion, here's your Bible, they will not return to him void. They will accomplish the thing where he sent it to. And in between all of that, the enemy comes trying to interfere and interrupt and make you think you're not close and make you think that God is not listening and make you think that God had not heard you. Hallelujah. Shabbat. Glory to God. But I'm telling you, mm, that in this season ahead, we must be a prevailing people, a people full of faith. And the only way to be a people full of faith is that we got to be a people full of the word. Hallelujah. Where you are, I feel the Holy Ghost release. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, you declare the end from the beginning. You know every hair upon our head. And you said, God, even how that first natural, then spiritual. And as you uh, instructed me to begin this word with, where are you in the faith? Examine yourselves. And that you wanted to raise the faith score of your people. Let it be a natural implication with spiritual actualization. Let us do it on both sides. Let us be tentative to where we are. Hallelujah. In the spirit of God. And where we are in our natural lives. You come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Oh, shall I? And I speak that abundance upon your people. I speak it upon their minds. I speak it upon their materials. I speak it upon their ministry. I speak it upon the marriages. Hallelujah. I speak it upon members in the name of Jesus. Accountability. Assignment, action, agreement, alignment, hallelujah, assurance, hallelujah, acknowledgement, glory to God, is where we want to be. Help us, Lord. Condition our hearts. Hallelujah. 
to understand that we can pass every test because you won't put more on us than we can handle. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you now and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. If you enjoyed that word this morning, come on, throw up some hearts. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Throw up some thumbs up. Amen. And then uh, you should see on your screen, praise God, how to give an offering, how to sow a seed. Do that as the Lord release you're a member of Ignite One Worship Center, don't forget your tithe and your offering. God, you're good. We love you. And we thank you for your word. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus, you will see ahead. Because we trust you.